how much is here. And if you copied it with the seam allowance included, which we did. Then we've got all our seam allowance notated with crossing our corners. Now we're going to make a little facing. Well, we know we have a uh, one inch seam allowance uh, in there. You can go ahead and add another inch to an inch and a half. So let's do one and a quarter inches from that opening. So I'm rotating my ruler around at one and a quarter, following the curve, drawing little short lines. I'm going to come back and blend them. Get that hip curve on there. And there we have our facing. Let's cut it out. This would be out of real fabric, not lining. So at the edge of the pocket, we wouldn't see the lining show. We would just see the edge of this real fabric. So this is our hip pocket. This is the Facing, cut to sew fabric that would be all matching. And depending how thin that fabric is, you might have to also cut to interfacing. That's an option. Here is our hip. pocket and this is our bag cut to lining. Now when you're doing lining you can go ahead and do blue, right? So this is going to be um, hip pocket bag, cut to, and this is going to be in a blue contrast lining, right? Over here, this is cell fabric, and we use black color to denote that. Okay, and we've got the red for the interfacing. Now up here, this is the backing, and this is the pouch, so we're gonna call this our hip pocket pouch. This is gonna be cut to, look at, lining. I'm going to make mine in a blue contrast. The backing goes on top of this. We need to match that little notch right here. There it is. And this is going to be cut out of self fabric. This is going to be our hip pocket. This is my pouch backing and this is going to be cut to out of my self fabric. I could use black here, right, because this is self fabric.
that's going to sew on top of here. This facing, you're going to sew on the edge and clean finish and turn in here. You're going to sew your pocket all together. Then you can sew it into here. This curved cutout edge will sew right against here. Remove this and add your one quarter inch seam allowance. on this hip pocket curve to match your pattern pieces, your half inch on your side seam, etc. So that is your hip pocket demo for today. I'm Annette Jouilly and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Au revoir!